do is uh, tape up all your trench pieces. That'll keep uh, the buffer from damaging anything. That'll keep the splatter from getting inside the edges, which can be a pain to get out, especially if you don't know what they use. Uh, the paint thinner will not affect it at all. Okay, so nothing really jumped out of me that needed sanding, other than this one little scratch on the hood. What we're going to do is take some 2000, actually like 1500 grit paper here. You can use anything finer than 1200. The finer you use, the less uh, work you're going to need to polish and get to bring the shine back after we're done sanding. So we got 1500 here wet. I'm just going to go over it real lightly here. To it, so that's normal. Once we get to the next step of polishing, we'll bring that shine back up real quick. Okay, so we can take care of that haze. First thing I got here is the uh, rubbing compound. I'm going to use a wool pad. I've taped that edge off there just to uh, kind of protect that edge so I don't burn through with the power provider. I'm going to try to set it around about 1500, 2000 RPM. Now. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the, the entire car now with uh, the same rubbing compound and the foam composite pad. Um, we'll do small seconds at a time and just make our way around the entire car. We get the same speed, 1500, 2000 RPM. Sometimes you spot these little scratches on the fly. Need a bit more sanding. That should do it. Okay, so I went over it now with the rubbing compound. Next thing you want to do is clean it all off. You don't want this compound to cross contaminate with the next one. The way polishing works is you keep moving to a finer and finer compound. So if there's any of the coarse compound left on it, then you're going to be polishing with that grit. It's not going to do exactly what you want. So if you have any compound that's kind of stuck on there, you can use a detailing spray. This one here is the 3M Clean. Clean and shine. I'm just spray that on there, it'll help remove it. So we'll go over the whole car and get all the compound off. Okay, so here's where we're at after we remove all the compound. You can see the gloss levels come up a bit. It's not anywhere close to where I want it to be yet. The next step's going to be to go over it with some swirl mark remover. Now if you look at it right now, this is probably where about 90% of car dealerships and uh, used car lots would end their polishing and probably throw a coat of wax on it, which would hide any minor scratches that you'll see outside. And if we were to leave it just like this, um, once you get in the sun, it would have those blinding swirl marks all over it, uh, just be holograms all, all across the finish and be annoying, it'd be an eyesore, and it'd be no good. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so we're on to the next step here. Um, pretty well doing the same thing, except now we got the black pad, which is a softer pad, and a finer compound, the swirl mark remover.
Okay, so I think I'm about three hours into this job now. So I went over the whole car with the swirl remover, and it's looking pretty good. The last thing I'm going to do is the, the uh, ultrafina here, so the blue pad and a very, very fine compound. So again, I'll go over it pretty well the same way as anything else, except this product you need to use wet. So I'll be spraying a bit of water just on the, the area where I'm polishing. Other than that, no different. So I'll get on with that and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is pretty well the final result. I'm just running out of sun right now. We've got a tiny bit of uh, cleanup to do yet, but give you an idea what the finish looks like now. 